So part three of the progression with crutches is progressing to one crutch. So once you're stable enough that you can stand and put weight into your foot, you're going to progress from two crutches down to one crutch. And when a lot of people think that you want the crutch on the injured side, but when you do that, you end up leaning over to try to support the weight and that's not very good alignment. So you actually want it in the, the non-injured side to help keep you upright as you step. So you're going to step at the same time with your crutch and your foot so that you and your injured side so that you can step through and then you're lifting while you're putting weight on your non-injured side and then you're going to keep that. So every step you take is going to be supported with the crutch. And once you are able to do that pretty easily, you'll kind of know when you are when you feel like you're not actually putting a lot of support in that crutch, then you're able to go down to just the walking boot or whatever they have you walking on if you're back to just tennis shoes. Um, and then just try, it's hard in a, in a cast or, or in a walking boot or a walking cast or something, it's hard to keep alignment proper, but you want to think about engaging your muscles so you're not really leaning over and pulling that through or you're going to start to get sore in your low back.